Welcome to my first video on this channel. So today I am going to be painting on the cover of this ELO sketchbook. I'm super excited to do this, but also extremely nervous. Of course I've already done this, so I know how it's going to turn out, but I don't want to give any spoilers. Anyways, I just got this ELO sketchbook and it's my favorite sketchbook on the entire planet. It's probably just because the paper is smooth and also because of this thank you letter that they give to you in the sketchbook itself. I really like the comic strip on the back. For some reason it gives me lots of inspiration, especially whenever it comes to drawing people because I'm really bad at that. Okay, so now moving on to the actual sketch part of this. I don't know what to call it. Thumbnails? Yeah. Thumbnails would be the correct term for this because I'm just going in with a really simple sketch and it's nothing fancy or anything. Honestly, it's not very good looking. I promise the um, end version does look better than this. But anyways, I am just right now going in and kind of designing the character's clothes. Even though I decided in the end not to do a full body pose, I really wanted to practice more and honestly it would be good for me to kind of do more of a full body because recently I've only been doing faces and it's kind of good to change it up a little bit more. So. I just skipped the drawing that I just pointed to. The reason for this is because it would take way too long to show all of the drawings I did at once. So here are some smaller ones. Um, this one was when she's flying in the air because yes, she is a fairy. She's a winter fairy uh, so far that I can tell of. I mean, I haven't really got a backstory for her or anything. She just is a fairy and likes the winter? <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, so she's flying in the air and she's smelling some flowers and I thought this was a really cool thing to draw. It of course didn't end up as well as it did in my head and it was kind of sad because I couldn't get the proportions right and honestly this one was a fail so I put a little X mark by it. This was probably the part where I decided not to do full body pose because I knew it was going to be overwhelming and honestly way too much work, especially on this small little canvas sketchbook cover thing. I mean, I'm calling it a canvas now for some reason, but it's really a sketchbook cover. I have the sketchbook cover that is 8x8, so not the smallest thing on the planet, but also not the biggest thing ever. So, I'm just practicing her face a little bit more before I decide to draw on my sketchbook cover canvas thing. <laughs> so, I'm basically just drawing. You get the idea. And I skipped all of this because I decided it wasn't very important, especially because I'm just focusing on the sketchbook cover. And that drawing on the left you just saw, you can go back a little bit, but on the left that was my end result of her outfit. So here I'm going in with this scary part. I'm using this silver Prisma colored color pencil and I used my magic to skip all of that drawing progress because I wanted to get to that painting. So that's what it looks like and you can see it better in the light and that is why I twisted it like that. So now all I need are my paints, and I'm using lots of blue as you can tell from what I just showed you, and time for the painting. So I'm basically just blocking out the colors. I've seen lots of people do this whenever it comes to art and painting and stuff, so I'm just doing that, and I mean painting is really fun, but I'm not very good at it, and honestly, this actually didn't come out as good as I thought it was going to be. So now I have all my colors blocked out and I just put more detail into the hair. I apologize for not showing that part. I just didn't have enough time to show you because this video does have a time limit. Anyways, 
Now I'm just using some liner. I've never seen anyone do this before, but I decided it would kind of give it more of a pop and also it would be better for me because I don't know how to paint small details like that and I don't have the paint sheets for that either so I decided to just do line art instead and honestly I'm glad I did because it helped me a lot in the end and it honestly just helped me become a little bit neater whenever it came to this drawing. I also just love how it makes it more of a focal point instead of just something that's there. So now on to the nose. I have to tell you, I struggled a ton with the nose. Like, a lot. It got pretty bad. I kept adding on to it to make it better. And it was just one of those things you should leave alone, but you just can't. And you keep trying to perfect it, but it ends up making it look even worse. So that's whenever I just got to the point where I just had to erase all of it. So, I did... Um, paint over it you can still kind of see it and honestly the paint color I used isn't the same color as the original skin tone which is kind of sad but I do go over that later so I just did all the line art onto the ear and here is where I decided to clean it up a little bit because it was looking a little bit messy especially around those edges as you can see so I just went in with a lighter color from the rest of the drawing and did an outline of it. I don't know exactly what gave me this idea. Kind of like how whenever you cut out something, you can cut around the edges to make it have like a bubbly look. Uh, I don't know what the word is, but I definitely think it did give it a better and cleaner kind of ending to it. I don't know how to call it, but oh well. <laughs> so here I'm just going to clean it up with better line art than it was before. And after the line art, you'll definitely see the big improvements and why I added in this outline because it looks pretty nice if you ask me. This part definitely took the longest out of everything. Honestly, I kind of got bored a few times and even before this I was getting really bored and I took a few breaks from the whole painting on my sketchbook idea for a while and it took m me a long time to just finally convince myself to do this in the first place. So you can imagine how long it took to actually do the thing itself. So. Here is my favorite part because I just blocked in the eyes and I don't know about you but painting eyes for me, at least now, is one of my favorites. <laughs> so definitely don't like how the eyes ended up but it was a lot of fun. So here is the end result. I ended up having to repaint everything because something bad happened with the Mod Podge. <laughs> But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Goodbye!